All right, good morning. It's the Kelly and Ken Show at 912. Our next guest is a singer-songwriter who lives in Nashville and is about to release a new song called Damned If I Do. I fell in love with this when I heard it for the first time last week. Here's a clip. Oh, gonna get bad Before it ever gets better And I know that He's also the lead singer for a group called Ashland Bell. And we played the heck out of this song. It's called Fastest Car. She's got a fearless rebel song. He's got a thing for winding road. He doesn't sound like a linebacker. <laughs> he does not. Let's bring him <laughs> not, in. Not in the slightest bit. Yeah. Evan Blankenship, how you doing, man? Oh, I'm doing great. How you doing? Doing well. Let's talk football real yeah. quick. When you're a defensive lineman for The Ohio State University, I'm guessing they were looking at you for the draft. Did you get drafted? I did not, no. So, um... When I was getting recruited out of high school, I was actually an offensive guard. So my first three years, I played offensive guard. And then um, injuries kind of fell upon the team. And um, my last two, I switched from guard to defensive end and, yeah. and nose tackle. And um, it's, a, it's a rough sport. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. So it takes a, it takes a beating on, on your body. And uh, after, after my senior year, I just um, I kind of I kind of fell out of fell out of love with the sport. Mm. And uh uh, I did our like little pro day and worked out for a couple NFL teams and uh, didn't have any bites. And um, in college, that's when I kind of started with music. And um, so once I was done with school, I uh, I didn't want to move back home. Yeah. And I kind of wanted to get out of town for a little bit and moved on down to Nashville. And that was kind of the end of my football career uh, and uh, kind of started over a Start up a whole new career with music. So was country music kind of always the dream? Or if you'd gotten a few nibbles from NFL teams, is that the direction you would have headed? I think I would have gone yeah. with the NFL. It's funny, growing up, I always wanted to be a basketball player. I was always the tallest one. Right. Um, so I played basketball, you know, all throughout high school. And I thought basketball was going to be my main thing. And then my freshman year of high school comes around. And I, of course, went wider than I did taller. Yeah. And uh, started playing started playing football. And um was lucky, luckily enough to start my freshman year all the way through my senior year. Got some looks at some some big time schools, and uh, so I, my first love was football. And uh, I always knew I could sing growing up, but mm -hmm. it was never music was never in the forefront of my brain. It was always it was always sports, and um, so even in, even in college, it was always football was always on my mind up until you know I had some back issues. I had plenty of knee surgeries and right. foot surgeries, and then it's like I don't think I'm going to be doing this for ver for very much longer. Have you had a lot of bar gigs, played in clubs and stuff? Um, not in college. It was uh, an NCAA rule that. But I, I mean, I, yeah. in your life, yeah, yeah. Okay. I've, I've, Do you I've... intimidate the bar owners with your size? <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. Uh, I, I, I'd really I... like to play her Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink, wink. That's right. Yeah. Flex, flex. Yeah, no, I, uh, I, I definitely have a, a bigger presence when I'm up <laughs> on stage, that's for sure. So I, I give some of the bouncers a run for their money. So <laughs> if the choice, let's say the choice 10 years ago had been three Super Bowl rings or three number one country songs. 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Super Bowl rings. Super Bowl rings. I've got, I've got uh, a bunch of buddies that I still keep in contact with yeah. um, who have gone on and played in the NFL. And man, their Super Bowl rings are, I mean, it's it's so awesome being able to see those. And right. uh, I kind of live vicariously through them and, and what they're doing on the field. And uh, so, yeah, I, I've since I've graduated, I don't really have a necessarily an NFL team anymore because of uh, all the guys that are kind of placed throughout throughout the NFL. So it, yeah. it's, it's great seeing them them do well but i'm looking now for the number one for the number one hit. that's it yeah now you're also the singer for a group called ashland bell right. is that kind of on hold now while you do the solo thing you're trying to juggle them both i i think it's we've kind of so the band has, has kind of gone through some ups and downs i think we're kind of in a down period right now um we've got some guys there they were originally from buffalo okay. new york and um they had a guy who i replaced and uh they're, they're, I replaced their old lead singer, and uh, some of the guys moved down here to Nashville to kind of work things out, and some of them stayed up north. So um, we're, we're kind of in this little limbo stage right now yeah. where we're trying to figure things out. So um, uh, I've just been kind of doing my own thing right now, and cool. you know, sometimes you just kind of got to look out for yourself sometimes. And uh, so I'm, I'm all for playing you know, with, with the band and everything, but yeah. at some point in time, you just got to kind of do your own thing. The song I was sent last week, Damned If I Do, Yeah, that was kind of a rough cut. You're going to go back in and re-record right. that song? Yes, yes, we are. Yeah. The version I got was with Sarah Davidson. She was singing back up for you, and I thought it was terrific. It was so good. She's incredible, isn't she? I'm not sure you need to re-record it because you might <laughs> lose some of the magic in the original, I, man. I, I know, yeah. She, I mean, she's incredible. We, we brought her in, and um, I'd heard of, her, heard of her before, and uh, it, was, it was funny. Uh, she, uh, she mentioned something 
seemed like she was feeling under the weather whenever whenever she was saying it. And I'm just like, if that's under the weather, I don't, I'm, <laughs> right. you know, I don't. Stay I don't, under the weather because right. you sound great. Yeah, well, she, she's incredible. Super, super chill. She's she's super nice too. Yeah. Yeah. What does it say on your bracelet there? Your rubber bracelet. Finish finish strong. What's that about? Uh, so we had. Uh, I had a guy uh, that I played football with, Nate Ebner, who's now playing for the for the Patriots. Mm. Uh, he just made the United States um, Olympic rugby team. I don't know if you'd heard. Well, his dad, um, his dad uh, passed away when he was in college, mm. and that was his main motto was to finish strong. And so, my senior year at Ohio State, we were kind of it wasn't very a very good season, and so that was kind of our message the team was to f uh, finish strong in, yeah. in anything you do in life, really. And so he passed around bracelets, and that was in 2011. I've been wearing it, wearing ever, it since. ever since. Yeah, You it ever is? wash it? <laughs> <laughs> when, when I shower. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I got so, you. If, if, if that counts. Yeah. By the way, his Patriots squashed my Bengals yesterday, man. Yeah, oh, you're a Bengal fan. Bengals fan, but it's tough this year. We're two and four. We're stinking. Uh, what's a what's a, what, what's a Bengal? Ken's not a sports fan. <laughs> One of, the, one of those larger tigers. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Oh, okay. Did you win a national championship with the Buckeyes? I did not. I uh, my freshman year we played uh, we played in the 2007 national championship against LSU, oh. and uh, unfortunately we did not did not win that game. That was Les Miles one championship. Yep. Do you get a runner up ring for playing in that game? You do not. No, you don't. Ring. You, don't get, you don't get you don't get a whole bunch of anything. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, but uh, it was it was an awesome experience. We we're down in New Orleans and uh, got to check. That was my first time being down south and got to check out Bourbon Street a little oh, bit. Oh, nice. And, uh, yeah, so it was it was a great time. Very cool. We're talking to singer songwriter Evan Blankenship. You want to do the single for us right now? Yeah, man? absolutely. All right, this is yeah. Damned If I Do. Yeah. Live in the studio on one hundred point nine The Farm. It's Evan Blankenship. Cool. It's late And I'm sorry I'm calling But I'm not I just wanted to hear your voice I know I said I would stop But I just can't get enough I'm lost Oh, it's gonna get bad So much more than you ever have, than you ever have. I'm damned if I do, and damned if I don't. It's over. You and I both know it, but I'm stuck. I'm thinking something's gonna change Cause every time we hook up it's the same And I come crawling back to you all over again Oh, it's gonna get bad For it ever gets better and I know that But I wouldn't want another To break my heart like you've done before Leave me wanting you so much more than you ever If I do That is Evan Blankenship. Hold on a second. What? Kelly, yes. play that for, play a guitar again. The just the guitar part. What is that? What do you mean? What is that? What? Is, that's another song. I don't know. Da, 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 da. What is that? 
I was driving me nuts. <laughs> what is it? I, no, I, I couldn't tell. Told I that, that riff is something <laughs> else. Not that you're ripping anything off. I'm just saying. I have no idea. Oh, man, someone else's else stuff. Nuts, man. <laughs> da 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 da. Oh, I'm gonna wake up. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got it. I got it. Old sweat no, going. Keep, I know it. Keep playing. Oh yeah. Here we go. Stop. Collaborate no. and listen. <laughs> <laughs>